Today in Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Spy Point Flex M. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. And today we are gonna bring you our review of one of the newer cameras SpyPoint just released. We've used a few different SpyPoint cameras. Some have been awesome and some have been not so awesome. If you saw our review of the G36, then you know what I'm talking about. So we were definitely interested to see how this Flex M would do. SpyPoint did send us this camera, but they have zero influence in what we say about them. We've had it in the woods about six weeks, which I know is not very long, but if you're shopping for cameras right now, we wanted to give you our idea on how this was working for us. Let's review this thing. You know the drill, let's cover the facts. The first part is fit. It's about the same size as most trail cameras at about five inches tall, four inches wide, and three inches deep. And it's super lightweight. So it's not gonna take up a whole lot of space on your tree, not really stand out if you wanted to put it on public land. The antenna is pretty big, but I wouldn't say it's any bigger than it, most other cameras out there. And again, it kind of blends into the surroundings. As far as mounting the camera, the Flex M does come with a standard pretty long cinch strap. So if you can get your arms comfortably around the tree, it's probably gonna fit there. And it has a tripod mount on the back of it. If you wanted to use a mounting post or an angled arm of some sort, then you can also do that. So fit, is pretty straightforward. With its size and with all the mounting options, we're gonna have to give it a five out of five. Now is the Spy Point Flex M as advertised. The first thing they advertise is incredible quality at unbeatable prices. The Flex M retails for $79.99, which it's actually probably one of the lowest on the market. But they also have a twin pack that I've seen on sale several places right now for $130. So that's only $65 a piece, which is a really good deal. Now, as far as quality, the Flex M takes up to 28 megapixel pictures and 70p video. I know those numbers aren't as large as other cameras, but again, you're talking about an $80 camera. Now, when the photos are sent to your app, they're gonna be pretty low quality because they're smaller and that way they're gonna transmit faster and easier. That quality is plenty good enough to just know what's going on on your property. If you happen to have a really great picture that you want better quality of, you can either request the HD version be sent to the app, and that's $5 for 50 HD photos, or you can do like we've always done and go pull the card out of the camera. For the most part, I would say the HD you request are more crisp than the SD version for sure. We're not talking about the highest quality photo out there, but we feel like the quality you get is plenty good enough for us. On the video setting, if you're gonna get like a three shot preview of what the video would be, then you can request the HD version and that's gonna be $5 for 20 videos or pull the card and you can have the whole video of all of them. And the quality of those videos is also pretty good. They advertise a flash and detection range of 90 feet. We didn't go out and measure that but this doe is close to 30 yards away, and even at night, it's still detected and took the picture. And then SpyPoint advertises reliable connectivity. The Flex M does come with dual SIM technology, which means that it is gonna connect to the strongest LTE network that it can find. I have to say this is one of our favorite things because where we like to put these cameras is an area that has pretty sketchy cell service. It seemed it did a really good job and we didn't seem to lose any photos. So far, the Flex M seems to do what SpyPoint says it should. So I'm gonna give as advertised a 4.8 out of five. Now, construction and durability. The Flex M is a pretty high quality plastic material. We've carried it in the woods, packed it in bags, taken it on and off trees, and so far it's held up really well. It does take eight AA batteries, or you can use the LIT22 battery pack or a solar panel. And as far as battery life, it's been in the woods about six weeks, taken well over a thousand pictures, and right now it's at 71% compared to other cameras we've used in the past, that's actually pretty doggone good. Now that can be affected by the settings. Right now we have it set to send six times a day. I'm sure if you put it on immediate or, or it's transmitting more often, or if you have it set on video mode, that battery life is gonna go down a lot more quickly. Setting up the Flex M is also pretty simple. You just open up the app, 
add a camera, and then scan your camera's QR code. Once you have it on a tree in the field, you can actually request a test photo and it will take a picture of what it sees so you can make sure that everything you want in your picture is gonna be there. And the app is also a pretty good one and is easy to navigate as well. On the bottom of the app is your menu where you can look at your cameras, the picture gallery, check the weather, and also look at a map of your cameras. Then with each camera, you can check the status, including battery life, signal, storage, and the temperature. Here you can also look at the pictures and change the settings, like whether it's on photo or video mode, and how often it takes and transmits those photos. One thing that I kind of don't like about the SpyPoint app is that you can't change your plan through it. You have to use a computer. That's pretty inconvenient and a little weird to me. But one really good thing is that SpyPoint, as far as I know, is the only company that offers 100 free photos. So if you get to the woods, you can still get your camera set up, get it taking pictures, and then choose your plan when you get back home to your computer. The app also uses a pretty cool buck filter that's free. So when you go in your gallery, you can just select that you want to see the bucks, and it shows you all of those photos. I was fairly impressed with how well it did because you can tell the bucks in these photos are really not that big and it still was able to pull them out. They have other species filters too, but those cost extra. Speaking of costing extra, unless you join the SpyPoint Insiders Club, which is $99.99 a year, then the app is only gonna store your photos for 30 days. If you do join the Insiders Club, they'll keep them on the app for 12 months now you can very easily download the photos to your phone or your computer, but I just feel like other camera apps store them longer for you. And as I've said, you can also just get them off of the card. So the app not storing them doesn't lose them forever. It actually just means you're gonna have to be more proactive in saving your, the photos you like and organizing them better. As far as durability, we've only had it in the woods about six weeks because that's about as long as it's been on the market. Now I can tell you we've had several spy point cameras. Some are two or three years old and still going strong and some stopped working after just a couple months. So only time will tell there. They do have a two year warranty and customer service, though it's a fairly long, tedious process, are really helpful. Overall, we've been pretty happy with construction and durability. Do wish the app kept your pictures longer, but I guess you can't have everything. So we're gonna give construction and durability a 4.8 out of five. Now onto testimonials and reviews. The SpyPoint Flex M so far is getting some pretty high ratings, but there are some complaints. Here you go. I saw a few reviews that said it goes through the batteries too quickly. They were down 30 or 40% after just 10 days. There are so many settings you can adjust that can affect that. But like I said, ours has been going strong. Another person complained that it takes pictures of grass blowing in the wind or nothing at all. If there are limbs or taller grass in front of the camera, it's definitely gonna be triggered when the wind blows. The best thing you can do is get rid of as much of the stuff close up as you can. Inevitably though, we do get some blank pictures. It could be a bird flying through or a squirrel that ran up the tree before the camera triggered. A couple other people complain that it just stopped sending pictures or wouldn't stay online. Thankfully, we haven't seen that with the Flex M for us yet, although we have had that issue with a couple other cameras. A few people complained that the free photos got used up too fast. First, I'll reiterate, I don't think any other company offers free photos, so we're just always kind of grateful for those. The other thing is the number of photos it takes is also dependent on the settings you choose. So you can spread out the gap between photos for up to an hour. Now, obviously you're gonna miss things that happen during that hour and won't get pictures of it. But if you just are worried about the free photos, then that's one way to do it. Another person had more of a suggestion than a complaint. They just said they wish you could remotely turn it on and off. I do think that would be a pretty cool thing, especially if you wanted to turn it off and say battery for a few weeks and then turn it back on before you go to the place you're gonna hunt and see what's happening. You know what we do? We tell you the score we found, we're gonna give testimonials and reviews a 4.6 out of 5. And finally, should you buy this thing? Well, it depends. With the experience that we have had so far with this camera and that $80 price point, it's been pretty great. I would 100% give it a 5 out of 5. But because of a few not so stellar experiences with one or two other cameras, 
we're cautiously optimistic that things are going to continue to go smoothly. I'm going to give Should You Buy This Thing a 4.7 out of 5. Hey, thanks for watching our Spy Point Flex M review video. While you're here, watch a bunch of other videos. Like it, comment, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, and click that notification bell. Go to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, and subscribe to our newsletter. Head to our Amazon store, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Threads, and Twitter. Thanks.